So I, I, got, I received this question in my group. I just made an Instagram post about it and I wanted to go a little deeper here in this video because <clears throat> a lot of people get nervous when they're getting ready to go out on their first date. They get nervous, they get confused, they freak out, they start texting friends or they text their mom or they start Googling something, okay? So I wanna share something tangible and helpful that you can implement moving forward, okay? But first I wanna ask you, before you go out on a date, how nervous are you on a scale of one to 10? Then the second question is, once you're out on the date, does that nervousness increase or does it decrease? And the third question is, why do you get nervous? Why do you get nervous when you're getting ready to go out on a first date? And if you're nervous during the date, why is that? Okay, feel free to answer here and then also think about it if, you, if nothing is coming up right now. Okay, so what most people do, and let me know if you resonate, if this is you, they get obsessed with making sure they look perfect, okay? And it's the day where they wanna do everything. So even if you usually don't work out, you wanna work out. Even if you usually don't put on a lot of makeup, you wanna put on a lot of makeup. Even if you usually don't dress a certain type of way, you wanna dress this type of way on this date. Even if you usually don't overthink, you start overthinking. So what happens a lot of the times is that people tend to get very tense. They get tense and they get nervous and they go into the state of what can I do uh, and who do I have to be? How do I have to show up to impress the other person? And this is kind of, this is very animalistic because this is what animal do, and animals do. If you haven't watched them, they're amazing. There are these, <laughs> there are these documentaries on Netflix, uh, Netflix that are about animals and how freaking powerful and cool they are. You need to watch them. And there is one, sh one episode in particular where, where they're showing birds. And, and certain birds can change colors. They sing and they dance. And this is the way that they attract mates, okay? by getting very fancy, changing colors, dancing, and doing all kinds of tricks. And if they don't do all this, they lose out on an opportunity to mate, right? So there's like competition here. Donna said it's an eight. It decreases when you get on the date. It's about how I look, okay? So there you go. So this is very, very common. So we kind of have this embedded into us. Yeah, so they'll change colors. They'll go from blue to green and they'll like <laughs> do all kinds of stuff to get the female's attention. And, and it's the man doing this. And the thing is, it's kind of funny. It's still true to this day. Nowadays, it's often women trying to compensate. And this is coming a lot from like insecurities and trauma. So women in the human race want to do too much right? But men are originally designed to impress us, okay? So everything I'm talking about today, I also want you to think about that men do this too. Men get nervous too. They do some bicep curls before they go out on, date, on a date and they have these huge muscles, right? And then let's say you start dating them and you're like, where did your bicep go? And they're like, oh, well, I don't really work out like that. I just... You know, I made sure I, I looked buff for our date, All right? <laughs> so let me, may, may, let me make sure that I look big for our date. It's super common. So what you want to do is start being aware of what you're doing to yourself prior to going out on this first date, how you're stressing yourself out over your looks, how all of a sudden you're insecure, how all of a sudden you're you're looking at your lips or your eyebrows or you're freaking out about the way you look because what you really have in mind more than like, okay, this is a great opportunity for a connection. You think about them. You're worried that they will judge you. You're worried that they won't think you're good enough. You're not cute enough. You're not beautiful enough. You're not gorgeous enough. You're not sexy enough. Like that's where your focus goes, right? Do you relate? And that takes like basically your life force away because now all of a sudden you're outside of yourself, you're outside of your body and then you wanna compensate with more makeup or better clothes or making sure you go and get your hair done and all things, okay? Yes, it resonates. 
So what happens is then you get there, you're, 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 you're on the date, and let's say this person is sharing and talking about all kinds of things, and you're not really present. You're not present. You're not in tune with that person because what you have in mind is how you look. What you have in mind is whether or not they're going to judge you, what they think about you. So you basically, this is what you do. And this is obviously the core that I teach my clients is to, to step into their power. What you do when you do this is you give your power away. It's like, I'm going to give it to you to evaluate me. And what you think is the only thing that matters. Like this whole date is about your evaluation of me. And let's say it doesn't work out for whatever reason, you're going to tell yourself it's, oh, well, it's because they don't think I'm, I look good enough or they don't think I'm good enough. I'm not saying this happens every time, but oftentimes it can happen that you think it's because of how you look or who you are, that this person doesn't think you're good enough. This happens because you give your power away to that person instead of knowing your worth beforehand, okay? Just being you beforehand, and we're going to get into what you can do instead. Michelle said, nervousness definitely a 10. Getting ready once I'm there, I relax some, but I'm always nervous about personalities clashing, okay? So that's your thing. So why are you nervous about that? Where does that come from? That would be my question to you.